This is Mountain Health Minutes. I'm Ted Owens, your host. And with me today is Dr. Brian Evans, Chief Medical Officer of the Tahoe Forest Health System. Dr. Evans, glad to see you. Thanks, Ted. Good to be here. Dr. Evans, I'm going to ask you uh, to speak a little bit about something that uh, uh, many folks are unaware of. It always surprises me when I speak with my friends from the Bay Area or something that they're completely unaware of this, and that is alcohol consumption at altitude. What can you share? Yeah, you know, you're right. There's there's uh, a lot of folks that don't understand that there is um, a difference when alcohol is consumed at higher altitudes like where we live. Um, certainly people, the, the flatlanders uh, probably need to, to study up on this because alcohol does affect the body a little differently when you're at altitude. And it's not necessarily because there's an inherent change in the alcohol itself. But what we're dealing with is two things. One is that um, at altitude, you have a lower air pressure and, and lower oxygen availability. And so that can uh, actually contribute with the alcohol to impair judgment and coordination more rapidly than you would see at lower altitude. And then the other thing that's going on is that dehydration is a pretty significant concern at higher altitudes. The air is drier. Uh, and alcohol, as you probably know, is a diuretic. And so it can um, exacerbate altitude sickness. It can make people feel terrible, like have headaches and nausea and fatigue and be more intoxicated as a result of it. So and we really want to make sure that people are aware of these effects and also uh, make sure that they're hydrating with water and really moderate drinking, uh, be very cautious. Going a little bit slower, because with those two uh, components that you've just described, if you're used to drinking a couple glasses of wine at altitude, that could creep up on you really quickly and you'd be unexpecting it, correct? It could, you know, and I think a lot of people uh, are used to the, what they call the apri ski, you know, they, they go out and ski all day and then they finish it up in the bar. And, um, you know, I think that you just have to be very cautious and know that it's potentially going to affect you quite a bit more uh, than it would at lower altitudes and more rapidly as well. So. You know, of course, we really worry about people getting in their cars and driving in that kind of situation or doing other things that could potentially be dangerous. So really want to be very cautious and stay safe. I would agree with that because, of course, you're a nice guy, Dr. Evans. You're an ER doc trained and you don't want to meet our friends in that environment, correct? We don't. We don't. You know, we, we know people want to enjoy themselves and they certainly are coming to the right place to do that. Uh, but uh, we don't want to see him in the emergency department with a serious problem that kind of ruins the day, and that's putting it mildly. So uh, definitely be cautious and uh, understand these effects. Dr. Evans, thanks so much for talking about alcohol consumption at altitude. This is Mountain Health Minutes. Thank you very much for tuning in.